We continue our lesson in 11.2 vectors with some basic rules and discussion about unit vectors and magnitude. So the first property we discussed earlier is the commutative property. We can add vectors in any order and they will result in the same vector. Uh, U plus V and V plus U end up with the same thing. I've given in my examples, I've got U, V and W. Are, they're all in 2D right now. Uh, so you can see the walkthrough of doing the addition. Uh, we write out what it is component-wise, u1 plus v1, u2 plus v2. Since these are no longer vectors, they're just numbers, the rules of the real number real numbers apply. Those are commutative, so we can switch v1 and u1, v2 and u2, and that generates v plus u. So the commutative property holds. The associative property also holds. Uh, that's where it, we don't, it doesn't matter what order we add the vectors in, we get the same result. So if we do U plus V plus W, we can add V and W together first, then add it in, add in U, and we get this result. So this is all three added together. And just showing you, we ends up with the, re, the other option. Uh, I rejoin or re separate this out as u1 plus v1, u2 plus v2, plus the vector w1, w2, which is this right here. <clears throat> so the properties for vectors have the associative property. Scalar distribution. If we got a scalar multiplied by the addition of two vectors, u plus v, uh, we multiply it in. So this is similar to a lot of the mathematics we already know. Uh, this just walks you through doing it. If we distribute component-wise, we get k times u1 plus v1 by moving it in, k times u2 plus v2 moving it in. Then they're real numbers, k distributes as naturally, and this ends up with ku and kv. So simple rules. When we're looking at the magnitude of a vector, it's also called the norm. It is very, very often distinguished by the double bars on left and right. It's kind of like absolute value bars twice. Uh, every once in a while, you'll see someone doing it sloppy and doing it once. It's really best to do two. And since the magnitude is we're calculating the length, between two points, that's really the distance formula, right? If you had two points X and Y and you calculated the distance between them, you'd do the square root of the differences of X and the square root of the differences of Y. The same applies in calculating the magnitude. We're looking for the distance or length of a vector is also called the norm of a vector. So when we see it, you square each component individually, you take the sum of them and take the square root. We can see that if we do the norm of k times a vector, we go in, the k, k gets squared. You can pull it out. So the norm of ku is the same thing as the absolute value of k times u. <coughs> or that not times u, times the norm of u. And we'll see some things work out with this as we're going through problems. You'll get a lot of practice with magnitude. So vectors, when we do a vector has a length of one, we call it a unit vector. A vector in any direction can have a length of one. Uh, and let's say that's V. Oftentimes you will see, I know I'm not the only one. I got that from someone else. I think the physics does it this way too. Uh, carrot over it to indicate a unit vector. The three basic Cartesian ones are I, J, and K. Going one step along the X direction and only the X direction is I. The same for J is for J and Y, and then K and X. So we have our three vectors here. I is one, zero, zero. J is zero, one, zero. And K is zero, zero, one. 
So oftentimes we can write these instead of using arrows around it, we use another form of vector notation. We use the IJK format. So instead of writing eight, six, and negative four, we write it as a sum of scalars times or scalars times the unit vectors. Eight in the I hat direction, six in the J hat direction, negative four in the K hat direction. Now, before I do that, let's uh, illustrate why. That is eight times one six times one and negative four times one. Which I could break apart as eight times one comma zero zero plus zero comma six times one comma zero plus zero comma zero comma negative four times one. Then you pull out the scalar multiple of the one. The eight comes out, the six comes out, the negative four comes out. And then instead of writing one, zero, zero, we put in I. That's a lot of work. No one does this. You just get used to right, recognizing these two mean the same thing. So take a second and write these out, B and M, see what you get. And I'll do them together with you in five seconds. All right, so V, I've got one in the X direction. It's one I, or when we only have one of something, we just say I, we don't put the one, we just say the, the object. Next thing, we're adding negative two of the J or just subtracting J, minus two J hat. And then we've got three in the Z direction, that's plus three K. For M, we've got no I. I've got seven in the Y direction, which is seven J. And then I've got nothing in the K. So M is just seven J. Okay. Uh, Then we can look at doing some addition and subtraction, doing using the IJK components rather than the vector components. So if we write the V, v vector as one or I minus two J plus three K, and then W, which was up above, is the eight I, six J, and minus four K. When we add them together, you add the individual components together. I plus eight I is nine I. Negative 2j plus 6j is 4j. And then 3k minus 4k is negative k. Go ahead and uh, give yourself a little example. Try to do v minus w. And then find the magnitude of this. Give you five seconds. Pause it. All right, if we're doing the subtraction, I've got the I minus 2J plus 3K, and I'm subtracting 8I plus 6J minus 4K. So I've got I minus 2J plus 3K. I'll distribute the minus. I've got minus 8I minus 6J plus 4K. And I end up with I minus 8I is negative 7I. Negative 2J and negative 6J is minus 8J. And 3K plus 4K is plus 7K.
if we're finding the norm, remember this is like writing one, negative two, and three. The norm of it was to take each value and square it, add them together, and then take the square root. It's the distance formula. Got the square root of one plus four plus nine. The magnitude is the square root of 14. Uh, units, whatever the units are. Whenever I'm doing square, square root, not everyone does it. I bring this little tail down to indicate the radical uh, sign is ended. That's just individual notation. And now I'll bring in a close to this video. We'll be back more with more vector stuff in 11.2 shortly. Peace.